Now you've seen the uh, you've seen that little thing that came out the other day. Apparently, by 2031, in two Aussies uh, will need some sort of programming app or software and website development or robotic skills. So, yeah. what does that mean for our kids? Adam is going to uh, let me. He knows what uh, kids are into these days, what they should be into. Um, how are you, mate? I'm very well. How are you? Ah, uh, well, kids are back at school. I've got a 13 year old who keeps saying to me, "School's irrelevant. Why should I bother?" He's mate. He's 13. He's got his own own, own online marketing company. He's developing apps, and he's He's actually making money online, which is incredible because I, I, I shake my head at everything he does. He sounds like a very intelligent young boy. So when he says I shouldn't go to school, should I let him pull out at 13 or do I need to keep him going? Well, look, I run an educational business, so I'm always for education. Um, I've been brought up that you've got to uh, finish school. So, you know, I would always suggest that he would do that. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, we've seen this uh, research that's came out about, you know, streaming entertainment. Kids are... You know, looking at this sort of activity all the time. Streaming is part of their life. They're used to video on demand. And I've heard about this thing called CodeFlix. Are you uh, you aware of that? Yeah, well, that's something that uh, we've proudly produced. So CodeFlix is an online streaming service. But the best thing about it, it's actually teaching kids to stream the right content. So it's, it's video tutorials about how to code and all the fun things that will really set them up for future success. So I'm hearing that schools should be getting into coding. There's probably not enough in the uh, even the Queensland education system that actually offer that as a subject, and that's a real issue now, isn't it? Well, spot on. But interestingly, as of this year, coding has become part of the, the curriculum uh, here, actually all around Australia, yeah. but particularly in Queensland. But the level of coding is really exposure to coding. So it's getting kids to understand skills like computational thinking and, you know, um, and, and logical thinking. But it doesn't necessarily give them real skills that they can use later on in life. Yeah, so CodeFlix, which is out there for kids now, do you access it by what, just doing a Google search for CodeFlix and you'll find it there? You've got it. So CodeFlix spelled C-O-D-E-F-L-I-X. And yeah, if they do a Google search, they'll be able to access that no problem. So kids will actually learn how to hack Minecraft with this. <laughs> Spot on. So <laughs> Minecraft is such a popular game these days, but let's teach kids how to actually apply some coding skills to be able to create and modify their favourite game. Well, that, that's what I see. My kids are into, uh, you know, oh, I've developed this city or this town or they've created this. I mean, they have a competition amongst their friends as to who can create, you know, something, you know, fantastic through Minecraft, which I know has been around for a long time, but... That is your basic, uh, that's probably where they should be starting at, what, nine, ten years of age, even earlier? Yeah, well, they suggest that if you wait till later than grade 10 to encourage them to get into a particular field, you've lost them. So we start off our kids as early as grade two with very simple drag and drop coding. Yeah. But as of grade four, we're actually teaching kids the same coding languages that professionals use in the workforce. Do you hope? Do you think there's any hope for anyone over 40 to uh, to learn this stuff or should they just, you know, just depend on the the younger generation coming through? <laughs> look, I do think you can teach an old dog new tricks. I really do. Um, but look, the, the re sorry, the reality is um, kids pick up languages uh, much quicker than, than adults do. It's like German or Mandarin. The earlier we can start, the more proficient you are. But if you're an adult and you have a passion for this, mm. whether you're a kid or an adult, you start at the same point when you learn how to code. Wow. See, Adam, I, I get upset at Excel. Um, that's been around, <laughs> what, nearly 50 years. But 2030, you're saying one and two Aussies will need some sort of programming skill. That's not just because Instagram and Facebook are, are an essential part of any workplace, but robots are now becoming uh, a big part of the workforce and an ability to program and, and make those happen will be essential now, will it? Yeah, spot on. So there's this term called technological displacement, which is basically having technology replacing uh, sort of human, human jobs. I've seen stats that up to 5 million jobs in the next 20 years will simply cease to exist. And, and the way that we sort of characterise or, or class them, the first ones to go are the DDRs, the dirty, dangerous and repetitive jobs. Okay. But those that code the technology will always be in demand. Someone said to me years ago in this game, when they moved from actually playing records and, and vinyl to CDs to actually playing everything off uh, you know, a hard drive now, that 
you know, the skill will be not in just putting all that together, but actually programming the information behind it and how to, you know, make all that work, um, you know, through all these different playout systems. And I'm finding that's where the jobs are now, more technical and engineering than actually being on the radio. Yeah, look, it's the way of the future. And and the reality is anything that's te- technology-based, someone has coded it to do something. And I run a coding business, but the irony is I've just gone back and bought myself a record player. So there's still something about <laughs> the, the, the vintage uh, the vintage classical uh, aspect of things, which I yeah, still love as well. I love it. And I love the word CodeFlix. Everyone, everyone knows what Netflix is about. So any adjacent sort of... Uh, uh, imaging you can have to that is fantastic. So mums and dads, if they're hearing this and thinking, what, what's CodeFlix all about? You can be safely assured that it's a, t- a teaching tool, a bit like the Wiggles, just they'll get more out of it. Excellent. No spot on, Bill. I appreciate that. All right, Adam. Thank you so much. And what's your company again, if people want to uh, look you up and find out more? So our business is called Junior Engineers.